And so, Kate, you're gone from my eyes, my arms, my lips, gone away. I try to hold on to you. It is the only way I can stay faithful to you. But you have completely disappeared from all this, all this, gone from my poor rooms, gone from the grander ones in Millie's Palazzo. It is like you were never here. Here, Millie is everything. Her house, her hospitality, her character, and still more, her imagination. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I, I, I want to show you something. Where are we going? Come up. An old library. I, I, I found it last night like it was hidden, like it was waiting. Oh, all these books. Half dust. Carved up and hidden away. Half pink, half. It smells like a, like an old chapel. I don't think anyone came up here. So many books. Italian histories, mostly. I, I think I, I dare touch them. Look at the ceiling in the corner. Cherubs. Mm, half falling away. And, and uh, all this, this looking out onto the water. I slept up here last night. Couldn't sleep. I, I, I came up here for a book. I lay on this couch. Stood. I defy sleep. I defy oblivion. I hung out the window, looked at the stars here. Everything became so true, so... As if to light up the whole of life and make everything clear. At dawn, I stared up at these old ceilings, all red and cold. They go on forever and ever, and suddenly everything became so still I could hardly breathe. All I could hear was the water of the canal, then without knowing, I, I slipped the sweetest sleep. Sognavo di casa, adesso sogno solo del mare. What does that mean? I used to dream of houses, now I dream only of the ocean. Of here. I could kill her. I am mixed up in her fate and she mixed up in mine. One false move. I must not move. Keep still. No vibrations. I love this courtyard. I could sit here all day. No one comes in. No one comes out. Come down. No. I have the best view up here. Yes, but can you smell the flowers? So much it hurts. You are right. Don't pick them. You don't want any. No. Let them be. I found something else. What is it? What is it? <laughs> Grapes. Is that a grape? It used to be. No, I, I didn't mean it. Is it? Uh, <laughs> how is it? Dry. Oh. Many pips. Sharp. Disgusting. Give me one. <laughs> don't do it. No, you don't have to. I, would I ask you to do something I wouldn't do myself? <laughs> mm, smooth. <laughs> Very <laughs> chewable. Too chewable. Slightly fermented, I would say. <laughs> <laughs> Disgusting. You wouldn't think there's a world outside That's of That's why here, I love this you? city. More than New York? More than New York. Am I allowed to say that? More than London. You can hide here. In plain view. You could be forgotten here and it wouldn't no matter. No one need pass your door. No calling cards. I hate calling cards. <laughs> why can you not go to someone's door and just knock? <laughs> the element of surprise. It's all so exhausting, so polite, so, so Boring. I was watching some street kids kicking a stone around. It was simple, easy. Venice was part of them, and they, Venice, they wouldn't let me play. Oh, do you mind being stuck here? I'm not stuck. Even if my editor called me back, I wouldn't go. I... <laughs> he, he wouldn't find me. No one knows where I am, and, and I don't care. All this, 
I like being nowhere, being nothing. Somehow I, I can't explain it. It's like here, there's this whole other world that doesn't work by machinery and manners. It's somehow possible, I feel that too. Yes, like you said, we float. Just to be with her, that's the thing. Not for profit, not to, just to remain near. We laugh, Kate and I, we never. Where am I? I know this street, do I? Everything's so familiar, yet. Which way? Is this the old bridge I've walked over a hundred times? Is it? Or am I somewhere completely different? No, no, grazie. We sit. Hmm. <laughs> you know it's the tide. That's why everything keeps changing. Every day the city is taken apart and put back together again. You're cold. A bit. <laughs> I like it. Don't. What? Get cold. Why not? Night is the real time in Venice. <laughs> to feel it. Feel the chill of it. Everything becomes mysterious. Mm. Have some more grappa. You mustn't let it go to our heads. <laughs> Look, the sky is I so think bruised tonight. Gone to my head. I said to someone once. I didn't think I could be more alive than I was in that moment. I was wrong. How can a person not live? I have no defenses left. Good morning! La signora is not received. Beg your pardon? She is not received. Is she ill? A malata? I cannot say. Has something happened? Is there some message? No message. Good day. And there is no invitation to return. There always is invitation to return. Something's happened. The sky breaks. The shock comes. And here, on Piazza San Marco, the grand drawing room of Europe. I see him seated in Florian's. Lord Mark, yes. Look up at me, recognize me, face me. Look away, pretend you don't see me. Is it because of you, because of you, Lord Mark, this storm, this that the palazzo is closed to me. There you sit. Have you done what you came for? You have been to see Millie. Now her door is shut to me. You just drop in, descend, invade, brutal. You can't. Did you propose again? Did she turn you away? She doesn't want you, she we and so you hurt her you what did you say i'll wait i'll wait some sign will come i'll get a note i'll go home i'll wait at home to get it it might be there now no message nothing comes three days. I think of you, Millie, in your palazzo, in your silence, the cold breath of your reasons wishing me to go away. Three days. I stay, in spite of your silence, in spite of my disgust, in spite of some final meeting that will be unbearable. 
I stay in spite of what Lord Mark might have told you. In spite of everything, in spite of nothing, I stay here alone. Who is it? Susie, let me take your umbrella. Please, please. Millie has turned her face to the wall. She's worse. I don't know what she is. That's why I've come to you. She hasn't spoken. For three days? Nothing. As if it was all over. Is she dying? Then you know. Yes. I know. And you know. Yes. Everything. Not everything. That's why I came. She doesn't want to die. Think of all she is. She lies there, clinging. I think it would kill me if she would tell me... Tell you? ...of what harm you have done to her. Would she see me again? Do you want to see her? If she'd bear it, I'd... I'd do anything. There is one thing you can do. You know what it is. What? Deny it to her. Deny what? What Lord Mark told her. What he told that her? That you've been all the while engaged to Miss Croy. I saw him in the piazza through the glass at Florian's. I knew he wouldn't have come for nothing. He doesn't know what he has done to her. Only we. She hid that she didn't know. She showed nothing. And he... Idiot of idiots. He meant no harm. He intended none, whatever. He, of course, meant only harm to me. He was humiliated. Yes. He, he saw you. You were received whilst he was turned away. And I stayed on with her. Precisely. And it was just revenge. Didn't he know? See her, feel her, judge her as perhaps not having more than a few months to live. He was doubtless been aware. As you yourself have been aware. He wanted her, you mean, just because? Just because. Shall we have lights, a candle? Not for me. Nothing? Not for me. Where has he been since here? London. With more? I think so. He will have proposed to Kate, and she will have refused him. You being clear to him as the reason? Not so clear as I am here. He must believe I may have a reason in London and yet been up to something. Up to what? Some game, some duplicity. A monstrous supposition. Will you deny that to Millie herself? Are you sure she believes it? Judge. Do you believe it? What I believe will depend on your action. Settle it, and I will believe you down to the ground if you save her life. If you deny it to her... Deny what? That you're engaged to Kate. That you're in love with Kate. All of it.